Hey friends, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I'm Dr. Bhanachuk. I have started an exam series in which I'll be covering important topics of oral pathology. The purpose of this video is to help you identify topics that have been asked in previous examination. This does not mean something else cannot be asked, but the probability of these topics to be asked is much more than the others. Today, in this video, I'll be sharing with you important topics from a commonly asked chapter, Diseases of Pulp and Periapical Tissues. Also, if this is your first time here and you want to learn dental topics in a very simplified manner, do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Now, let's get started with today's topic. First of all, you can be asked to define pulpitis or you can be asked what is pulpitis, then etiology of pulpitis, classification of pulpitis. You can be asked to write a note on pulpitis. So you should know what are the different types of pulpitis, acute pulpitis, chronic pulpitis, or you can also be asked sometimes to write in detail about specifically acute pulpitis. Then chronic hyperplastic pulpitis or pulp polyp. This is another very commonly asked question to write in exam. Also, it can be asked in VIVA that what is the other name for chronic hyperplastic pulpitis or pulp polyp. Then, sequel of pulpitis, chronic apical periodontitis or periapical granuloma, radicular cyst, although it is already covered in the chapter odontogenic cyst, then periapical abscess or dentoalveolar abscess or an alveolar abscess, Phoenix abscess, it can be asked to write in exam as well as it is a common question in VIVA. What is a Phoenix abscess? Then osteomyelitis. Now this is the most important topic from this chapter and one of the most commonly asked. You can be asked to define osteomyelitis, classify osteomyelitis. You can be asked to write in general about osteomyelitis. Then you can be asked to write specifically about acute suppurative osteomyelitis chronic suppurative osteomyelitis, Gary's osteomyelitis. Among the types of osteomyelitis, the most commonly asked is Gary's osteomyelitis. You should prepare it nicely. You should also remember its other name that is chronic osteomyelitis with proliferative periostitis. So we are done with important topics from disease of pulp and periapical tissues. In the next video, I'll be covering important topics from spread of oral infections. Also, I have already uploaded videos on important topics from 8 chapters. As you can see on the screen, you can check them as well. I am mentioning the link below in the description box as well as here up on the screen. Also friends, it takes lots of effort to make such videos. Your one like can give me lots of encouragement. So do like, subscribe, share and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.